Good morning. Um, several years ago, I had uh, sort of made some videos and written some blog posts about how I made my sermon manuscripts. And I used, back in the day, I used a, a plain text syntax, say that 10 times fast, called Markdown. And um, it looked like this, okay? Uh, basically, you know, you, you make your headings with a uh, number sign and a space, which you can't see on this program. Um, and bullets are just an asterisk at the beginning of the line. And you can do, uh, you know, you can do a carrot and that's a block quote. And it's a very, very simple syntax, very easy to learn. And it translates very easily into like an EPUB. Um, or a Kindle doc, and that's how I was getting my sermons into the pulpit and writing my sermons. And there, I still use Markdown. Markdown is great. Um, it's a fantastic syntax. It, I use I use it to write a lot of stuff for the web, and uh, I I recommend learning it to everybody. But I no longer use that as the way that I I make my sermon manuscripts. Um, I've kind of gone full circle, and I have gone back to using Microsoft Word. Yes, Microsoft Word, like what everybody else does. And I wanted to uh, share some tips for making sermon manuscripts in Microsoft Word um, to be printed. Okay, these are not ones to be you know used on a tablet, although if you have an Office 365 account, that's even easier now than it's ever been. And there's some great advantages to that. But I now use paper manuscripts and I use Microsoft Word to write them, and I wanted to give you five tips on using making manuscripts in Microsoft Word. All right, the first tip I have, really simple, very basic, is to use the built-in styles. Now, when I talk about the built-in styles, I'm talking about these up here. A lot of times, people will be in Microsoft Word and they'll be writing, and you know they'll want a heading, they'll want something to be bold, and so they'll make this a heading, and then they'll highlight it, and they'll go up here, and they'll say, okay, I want this big, so let's make this 20, and it needs to be bold. That's a terrible idea, terrible idea, okay? Um, it's so much better to use these styles that are built in for you up here. You can set them to keyboard shortcuts, it's just one click. It keeps the look of your um, of your manuscript consistent, and also it also has the added benefit of when you go to um, view here, you can actually click on outline, and the, this outline is actually based on those styles. So if you needed to make a handout and you just wanted your main points on the handout, you could just say okay to level two or to level three, and look at that uh, in one go there. Okay. And so I highly recommend, highly recommend that you use the built-in styles. The second uh, recommendation that I have for you for manuscripts is this, to learn the keyboard shortcuts, okay? Um, learn keyboard shortcuts for these styles. You can actually go into these and click modify, and then you can go down here on a Mac, of course, it's similar on Windows, and you can give a new keyboard shortcut. You can assign um, keyboard shortcuts to these files. And I recommend that you do that. Um, learn keyboard shortcuts uh, for these styles so that you can quickly apply them as you write. Um, and so that's, a, that's the second thing. Keyboard shortcuts will save you a ton of time. The third recommendation that I have for you is um, to create a style for scripture. Now, you'll notice here that on here, when I click on this, this scripture jumps up. And whenever I insert into my manuscript scripture, I always have it with a similar style. And uh, I use this style that I created here. Um, I like it to be italicized, to be a little bit tighter, and um, to be indented on the left side like this. And so for me, when I'm looking through my manuscript and I'm trying to find the scriptures, it's very, very easy. I, I do something similar with the quotes. For quotes, I just have uh, I just use the normal thing and I indent it. Um, but that helps me to be able to see okay where are the scriptures that I'm using for that uh, for this particular sermon and to know this is this is a scripture. So I suggest you use a style and create a style um, 
for your for your uh, um, scriptures. You know what I'm trying to say. All right, two more. Um, so we've got built-in styles. Use built-in styles. Use keyboard shortcuts. Create a scripture style. Number four is set up your your document as statement as statement. And you probably you might have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, let's say I've got here a, a regular piece of paper. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a, a, a letter-sized piece of paper here. Okay, if I were to take this piece of paper and fold it in half and rip it, this is a statement-sized piece of paper. So letter, turn it on its side, statement, statement. And a statement-sized piece of paper is five and a half inches wide um, and eight and a half inches tall, okay? Now, why would you set up your paper as statement? Well, a couple of reasons. If you want to put this on a tablet, this is a lot closer to the size of, say, an iPad mini or a Nexus 7 um, than a regular-sized piece of paper is. It matches the dimensions a little bit better. Um, another reason is because, and the main reason, is because it prints better. And I'll show you that in a minute. But to set up your, your pages statement, you can just go to File, Page Setup on a Mac, and Paper Size, and you can do Manage Custom Sizes. And then you have to add your information. So I've got 5.5 by 8.5, and, and then quarter inch margins with a half inch margin on the bottom. Um, and then once you do that, it's just a matter of going to File, uh, Page Setup, and choosing statement. Similar process on Windows, but uh, that's that's something that I do, and I just save this as a uh, I save this as a sermon theme, and I just start that up whenever I'm uh, preaching or getting ready to, to preach a sermon. Now, the last tip in involves buying another piece of software. If you go to the Mac App Store, there is a piece of software called Create Booklet. Create Booklet. And I'm going to show you what it does real quick, okay? So I've got this manuscript here. This was from last Sunday morning, and it's about 16 pages long. And um, it's if I were to try to print this out, it would just be a, a hot mess. It would be difficult to print this out, okay? But I can actually go here to File because I've purchased this Create booklet, and I'll have a link to this uh, in the show notes. Here, but I can go and click where it says PDF in the bottom left, and I can go down to Create Booklet, and watch what happens. It opens this app here called Create Booklet, and it lays out these pages on a letter-sized piece of paper um, just how I um, need them printed, and then I can click Print and send this to my printer. It already has it set up to be bound correctly. I'm going to go ahead and print that. Okay, I'm back. I had to troubleshoot my printer a little bit. I hate it when that happens, but it happens. It happens to you too, so don't judge. Okay, so this is what my notes look like now. Um, very easy for me to read. Very easy for me to flip through. Uh, clear page numbers. I can jump right in. I'm going to share in the show notes, I'm going to share my, um, my Microsoft Word template that I use for the sermons, already set up on statement size paper, um, and you can add that and uh, give this a try. I'll also have a link to that Create Booklet app, uh, and so you can purchase that. And uh, if, you, if you are the person, kind of person that prefers paper, and I used an iPad for a long time, I'm not judging, but I do better preaching, preaching off paper. Um, I really think this is the way to go, so give it a look. Try these five tips, and uh, thanks for thanks for watching.